spot in western New York that is expected to see the most visitors today, where else? Up in Niagara Falls. Well, every hotel room in the area has been booked for months, and some of the visitors include experts from NASA and the Canadian Space Agency. Channel 2's Rob Hackford continues our team coverage now with more on that. Guys, we've heard a lot about what NASA is doing with this eclipse, experiments across the country. We're also hearing from an individual from the Canadian Space Agency, Jeremy Hansen, joining me now. He's going to be on the Artemis uh, crew coming up, uh, flying around the moon. Uh, we want to know why you're here in Niagara Falls today. Uh, what is this experience going to be like for you? I'm here for the same reason everyone else. I would like to experience a total solar eclipse. It's the first time I'll see this. And uh, cloudy or not, we're still going to have a cool experience here. We're going to see something very unique. And also, it's just a great opportunity for us at the Canadian Space Agency and in partnership with NASA to be out in the general public, educating people about science, why it's important in our lives. And I think today, it may be more important than ever to remind people that science is nothing to be scared of. Science is simply us you know, coming up with theories for why we think things happen and then trying to distinguish fact from, from fiction. And uh, it's really important for our future here on the planet. This, today's a great day to be explaining that to our youth. And Jeremy, I know, you know becoming an astronaut is a rigorous process. Uh, you've been working at this, I'm sure, for, for quite a while. H have you thought about the, the fact that you're going to be flying around the thing that we're all here to you know, essentially see line up with the sun today? Absolutely. In fact, since I was assigned to this Artemis II mission, and you know, we're going to be flying around the moon on this test flight of this new rocket in this new capsule. So you know, I'm very kind of down and in in the details about how we're going to do that and, and still be breathing nine days later when we get back to Pacific. But there are moments where I just stop to reflect. I look at the moon now a little differently. Somehow it seems further away now that I, I see how long it takes us to get there in the simulator.